stationary person measures the speed and wavelength of a sound of a horn on a vehicle. Then the vehicle is approaching at a constant speed. Oh, when you read this, you should already know, oh, I'm, in, I'm doing a Doppler question. I need to know the Doppler formula. So if, you, if you're not sure how to start, draw a picture. You have a person. Okay. And what's happening to this vehicle? There is some kind of horn on the car, you know, like beep, beep, kind of horn. Beep. And then the vehicle is approaching at a constant speed. V. So what happens is this the waves of this horn will bunch up or clump together because this vehicle is moving. So you see, I'll try to draw it clump up like that. Yeah, something like that. So when the waves are more clumped up, that means it's a higher frequency. Okay? So which row describes the wavelength and the speed of sound wave from the moving vehicle when compared to the sound wave from the stationary vehicle? So you have moving. And then you have compare it with when it's not moving, it's just gonna you know, release all its sound wave like this. Okay, so how do we compare this? Hmm. So wavelength is measured by this human. So I guess this human can hold some kind of microphone in the hand, and you're trying to decide what is the wavelength when it starts moving. So if you notice, the waves are more bunched up when that human is uh, measuring it and the car is going towards the human. So you can say the wavelength has become shorter. It won't get longer. Longer is if it's going away from you, but here the object is going towards the measurement, the, 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 the microphone that the human is using. How about the speed of sound wave? Hmm. The speed of sound actually is a constant. If your temperature of air didn't change, the density of air didn't change, you're still it's, you know, kind of the same air, it will be a constant value, usually about 300 or 330 meter per second. So it doesn't matter how fast you're moving, the speed of sound is the same. The waves will move out at the same speed. So the best choice is D. Hey, thankfully, I don't need to do calculation. Doppler effect just... This is a very nice Doppler question. Don't need to do calculations. Okay, so that's how you can do questions like this. Make sure you know what does it mean when an object moves towards you while making a sound. The waves get squashed. Wavelength is shorter. Frequency is higher, higher pitch. Okay, so that is all for this one. I will see you in the next question.